everybody. Welcome back to Read to Me, Miss Tracy. I am Miss Tracy. Uh-huh. Yeah. And this is my story time channel. Yeah, where we bring books to life. I'm not going to waste any more time because I'm so excited about all the books that we're about to read today. So very first one, it's brand new spanking book. It is called How to Read a Book. Great title, isn't it? For a story time channel. I think it's pretty good. That's using your nugget. That's using your nugget, Miss Tracy. This book is by one of my favorite authors. His name is Kwame Alexander. And he's, ri he's written a book, so many books, but he's been awarded with a Newbery Medalist Award. Uh-huh. Yeah. He's got some, you know, like you get the little blue ribbon and they give you like a big shebang and a big fanfare. Good job, Kwame. Okay. Also, the artwork in this book is absolutely gorgeous, using a lot of different mediums. See if you can see, like, there's some paint. They even use some scraps from different different portraits and other things like that to make it. You can do the same thing. Did you know that? You can write your own book, and you can write your own stories, and you can, ooh, you can even color your own book. Oh, watch out there now. You don't have to just go to the library or local bookstore like I See Me Bookstore in St. Louis or Progressive Emporium in St. Louis or on, on the online. You can do it yourself. Yeah. Well, we'll talk about that later. Right now, we're going to talk about how to read a book. You ready? I'm ready. Let's go. See? Very nice. I love the bright colors. Kwame Alexander is the author and Melissa Sweet is the artist. See, look at all that. Different colors and and looks like they've cut out some pictures and music and things like that from other books. Cool. Oh, now you can see it better. Good deal. All right. Oh, isn't she cute? First, find a tree. Black Tupelo or Dawn Redwood will do and plant yourself. You know, you can plant yourself like under a tree. It's okay if you prefer a stoop like Langston Hughes. Once you're comfy, peel its gentle skin like you would a clementine. Ooh, a nice orange, juicy clementine orange. The color of sunrise. Beautiful pictures. The scent of morning air and sweet butterfly kisses. Mm -hmm. It's one of my favorite bugs. Our butterflies. Mm -hmm. I love them. Look, see, there's a butterfly. And look, there's, it looks like there's newspaper or maybe she used an old book or something to cut out of and used paint. I love it. Next, dig your thumb at the bottom of each juicy section and pop the words out. Look at that. There you go. Pop. Almost like a toaster oven. Hmm. This must be in the morning when you eat oranges and toast. I don't know. Let's see. Piece by piece, part by part, page by rustling page. See the little kid reading a book hanging up down from a tree? Then, when the sun is so quiet, shh, very quiet, watch a novel world unfurl right before your eyes. Surprise! It's a book party stacked with all your favorite friends a picnic of words and sounds in leaps and bounds. Oh, let's see what the surprise is. Oh, wow, a fold-out page. Look at that. Can you see? You'll be able to see it better when you check it out from your library. I checked mine out at the St. Louis Public Library. Oh, and the St. Louis County Library, too. Sometimes I go to both. Come on, Paige. Fold back up. I don't want to mess it up. It's a new book. 
So get real cozy between the covers and let your fingers wander all over the, as they wander. That kind of looks like Miss Tracy reading a book in her bed. Squeeze, squeeze every morsel of each plump line until the last drop of magic drips from the infinite sky. Oh, well, look, I believe she's a, a superhero book reader. Are you guys a superhero book reader? I bet you are. Oh, you're watching the Read to Me Miss Tracy show, so you gotta be. And a burst of orange. Oh, look how they cut that out. Isn't that cool? Explode! Boosh! I love it. Love it. Beneath a perfect purple moon. What an imagination, Mr. Alexander. But I love the colors. Love it. Don't rush, though. Your eyes need time to taste. Your soul needs room to bloom like flowers. Ah, there's the moon. And it looks like there's some astrology maps on here. Huh. Anybody like the stars? To watch the stars in the sky? Now sleep, dream, hope. You never reach. Oh, I love her hair. The end. Unfortunately, we did reach the end of this book. This was How to Read a Book by Kwame Alexander and the artist Melissa Sweet. Good job, you guys. So that's our next story. If you like it, let me know what you like about it. Don't just say, oh, I like that book, Miss Tracy. Tell me what you like about it. And then guess what? If you like it, I love it. Mm hmm Yeah. And then if you got some suggestions and you want me to get from the library, because I got a huge stack of books that I'm going to read to you as the time goes on, we'll get through them all, okay? How about that? Let me know if you have a book that you want me to read. I'll be happy to read it for you, okay? In the meantime, subscribe. Hit that little red button down there at the bottom. Subscribe, like, and share it with your friends. Go to your library. Get your library card. Read it to your friends. Read it to your cat. Read it to your dogs. Read it to whoever who you want to read it to, honey. That's your business, okay? I'm reading to you because that's my choice. This is my show. <laughs> and thank you so much for watching. In the meantime, see you later, alligator. In a wild crocodile, give a hug, ladybug. Blow a kiss, jellyfish. I see you soon, big baboon. Out the door, dinosaur. Take care, polar bear. Wave goodbye, butterfly. Hug yourself. Give yourself a big hug. Get your daily vitamin. Woohoo! Yes. <laughs>